Hi, everybody. Welcome to Oil Country, Edmonton, Alberta. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Ray, it's an honor to be able to call a Stanley Cup playoff tilt. The intensity here, you feel it just moments away from puck drop. The guys are almost vibrating down here, James. They've been so excited to get this final series started. I can't imagine how much fun it would be to play in this. Really looking forward to this one tonight. The proverbial line in the sand is drawn at center ice, and we are underway. Let's it fly. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and buries it. Game one is such a critical game in any series while teams are feeling each other out. It's kind of nice to get the first goal. The Sharks are on the board, and are they ever quickly here? People aren't even sitting down yet, and it's 1-0. The home team now has to climb out of a hole. Quick pass to Burns. Along the half wall with the puck. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Bumped off the puck. Receives the pass. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it to Hurdle. Nice pass. Looks to make a play over to Pugliarvi. Here's a short pass to Nurse. Takes a shot. Go oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. The Oilers play it along the wing. And he regains control of the puck. And now it's over to Nurse. Taken along the wall by Burns. Quick feed to Hurdle. The Sharks move to the offensive zone. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. Cahoon has been nabbed for tripping. Trying to get into position to get to the puck. He takes out the player's feet, and off to the box he'll go. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. I scored about 25% of my goals on the power play. I made a living on it. One of the things, if you're on it, you better produce or they're going to make changes. Gets it out of his own end. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Moves it quickly over to Marlowe. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Again, the denial by the goaltender. The Sharks have the shot advantage, and they also have the lead on the scoreboard. Good job tangling up his opponent here. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Now he takes it over the line, slides it across, and that goes off a player. His reflexes on display tonight. The Sharks take it across the blue line. The Oilers gain possession of the defensive zone. They move the puck out of harm's way. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. Here they come inside the neutral zone. And loses possession after a solid hit. And he makes the save. Tries to get it out of the zone. Chance to breathe for the penalty killers as they clear the puck. Up, solid play. It doesn't have to be the most attractive play, but that puck has to go out. The Oilers have it from the corner. Here he is in front. Turns it away. Pumps it away to keep the pressure on. The Sharks take it along the wall. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed to Bear. Sends a pass over. Grabbed along the boards by Nugent Hopkins. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. And the officials stop the play. Let's see what the call is. The Sharks will serve two for holding. Player's got a little bit of a beef here, but when you reach out with your arm, 
that signals to the official to keep a closer look. It's a penalty no matter how you shine it these days. Edmonton sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. The power play coach had a quick meeting with the guys before they went out to start this power play. They know the importance down by one. Two minutes for holding. Final the penalty. Puts it in deep. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. San Jose's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. They fight for it along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by McDavid. Slides it across to Neal. Gains the zone on the left wing. The Sharks get a hold of the puck under man. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to McDavid. And now he tries to get it across to Nugent Hopkins. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Confidence just oozing from him as he's one of the top players in the league in points here in these playoffs. More than half the period left to play. The Sharks lead it 1-0. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Puck slid down the ice. The Oilers don't have time on their side with this power play running out. Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Here's a short pass to Yamamoto. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. The centermen glide into position. And the PK unit gets it done, preserving the one goal lead. Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. Here they are on the attack. Sends it across. Oh, he had a beat, but it goes off the inside post. The Oilers are trying to inch their way back to even. That's not going to help. That's a good scoring chance that hits the goal post and doesn't go in. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Scores! They score back-to-back -back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. It's a bad decision by the other team as they get caught in an odd man rush, but they don't make any mistake. This is a beauty. Couture's won the draw here in the neutral zone. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Loses his balance on the play. Feeds the puck over to Burns. Takes the pass. He almost lost it for a second there, but scores! On the rebound, he pops it! You want money, you go to the bank. You want bread, you go to the store. You want goals, you get into the net. The rebound's there, he puts it away. San Jose's taken full advantage of their scoring opportunities with a comfortable lead here in the first. The Oilers win the faceoff. Smart defensive play there. Picked up along the wall by Russell. Scoops up the puck behind the net. Takes the stretch pass in the open ice. From the left side, takes it at center. With the stop. Picked up along the boards by Meyer. Save made by the goalie. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. The Sharks have it against the wall. And he can't hang on after that hit. Moves the puck. Quick feed to Jones. Some great thievery in the open ice. The Sharks take it along the wing. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. 
Stays with it. Moves it quickly over to Burns. Here's a chance right out in front. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Right out in front. Stopped by the goaltender. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Taken by Nieto. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Move to the middle, and his stick oh. just imploded. Nothing you can do about it. You do everything right, and then your stick just collapses. Cahoon's gonna play it against the half wall. Edmonton's got it now. Keeps hold of the puck. Takes the feed. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. Quick whistle stops the play. The Oilers are gonna be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. Reaching out for the puck, I guess it's a little bit of a bad play. You've got to realize the guy's getting away. Let him go before you take the penalty. The official's making him pay for it. San Jose's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Sometimes you have to have the shortest of memories when you play on a specialty unit like the power play. It hasn't gone very well for them so far tonight. They have to attack this power play with a renewed vigor. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. Kane's got it across the line. From the point, they take control of it. Chase right in front. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kane. Right in front with the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Meyer's playoffs have been almost dreamlike. He's among the league leaders in goals this playoff season. San Jose's been the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. Edmonton's won the draw. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone, and he puts that one aside with ease. San Jose's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent a little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck Marlowe stick handling in his own zone now a quick pass to Burns and tries to make a diagonal pass to Donato to his teammate shot stopped by the goaltender he makes the glove stop right from the slot that's a dangerous chance More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Sharks are in cruise control, leading it 3-0. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Larson's taking it from his own end. They're able to wind the clock down a little bit here. They don't score on that power play. I don't know that it's particularly important. They don't want to give up anything because they've got such a large lead. They want to run this in on cruise control. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Edmonton's gained possession. And he loses control of the puck. Came up with the save on that play. Looking to set up offensively. Strong defensive effort. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Handles the pass at center. Quick pass to Pugliarvi. San Jose's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by LeBanc. Moves it to Kane. Oh, slick work with the glove by Koskinen. San Jose's offense has been shining brightly so far in this first period. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Carries it in. They've got numbers. And he takes a shot and he comes up with it. Rister denies him again. Quick work. He makes one and two saves in a row. Taken along the wall by Hurdle. Tripped up on the play delay penalty coming up. There's the whistle. Here's the call from the officials. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box.
San Jose's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. I like this. They got together right before the faceoff and discussed a couple of options. They haven't had a lot of opportunities tonight. Blocked in traffic. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. From behind the net. Scores! That's how you draw it up with the extra attacker. Well, you've got the extra man, so you want to move the puck more quickly. You want to retrieve it with greater numbers. They do it all well, and they're on the board. The goalie's not going to catch this. The pass from behind the net's on the tape. One timed into the cage before he can really get turned around. Here in the later stages of this period, the Sharks have a four-goal lead. San Jose's won it. Puck grab by Vlasic. Sent into the offensive zone. The Oilers will play the puck from behind the net. Here's a short pass to Cajon. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. The Sharks are up big here late in the first period. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. And that one's broken up. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Pucks the puck away. Taken by Neal. Here's an odd man rush. Turris setting up against the wall. Backhander in front. He gets a piece of it with a stick. McDavid's one of their only hopes to get back in the game. Their deficit is so large, they're going to need a lot to go right. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Ferraro's got the puck in his own zone. And it's kicked away. Grabbed along the boards by Nugent Hopkins. The Oilers move it in. Big play inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Nugent Hopkins. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Oh, what a blown opportunity with that stick. I would lose my mind. You get into your one chance maybe to score, and now you don't even have a stick. They go on the attack from the left side. Look out! Gives them nothing in front. The first period in the books and not a moment too soon. What a performance, at least at one end. Feeling hungry? Try our arena restaurant for gourmet dining. With great views of the action, we'll get a light meal with one of our many grill locations on the concourse. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Period number two seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferrar, was also set. Let's do this. Great start for one side, a disaster for the other. What does period number two offer? Let's find out as we're underway here. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? The Oilers just haven't done anything right. They say sometimes you got to look for the light at the end of the tunnel. Right now for them, it's an oncoming train. San Jose's got the puck against the boards. The Oilers take over on possession. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Hangs onto the puck. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And the puck departs the zone. Moves it quickly over to Pugliarvi. Puck picked up by Burns. Takes the feed. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Centering pass! Right in the slot! Comes up with the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on it. Sometimes you're in closer 
There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Handles the puck from the left side. Myers contributed to this blowout with one goal already. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Stones him in front. Dupnik's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalies get the blocker up to make the save. San Jose's offense has come to play in a big way as they dominated both the shots and goal category. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. San Jose's fans are loving every minute of this one as they lead 4-0. Slides the puck over. To the low slot. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. San Jose's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. Donato's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Good check, frees the puck up. Barry's got it in the defensive end. Throws one up to Turris. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Big save. Carlson's moving the puck through his own zone. Quick pass to Marlow. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Nice zone entry from the right side. Takes a shot. Comes up with the stop. Dupnik's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. The setters will glide into the dot. Steps in and takes the puck. The Sharks move it ahead. Throws it in. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Nelson's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Oh, that's a smart heads-up play as he breaks it up with the poke. The Sharks looking against the half wall. Pokes it away in his own end. A chance! And that one's stopped. He reacts late, but he makes a save through traffic. The Sharks have generated a lot of pucks on net and have turned more than a few of those shots into goals. Edmonton's won the faceoff deep in their own end. And now he angles it across to chase on. The Oilers play it along the boards. Moves it to Kara. Stayed by the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. San Jose's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Couture's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Meyer. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. The Sharks look to start the transition game. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Centering pass! Oh, you can't miss that! Now, somehow I got 408, James. You don't get any if you don't hit the net. Get it on target, man. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the Sharks lead it 4-0. They have dominated. And sneaks in and grabs possession. The Oilers are in transition. Yamamoto's got it in the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. Trying to get back on the attack now. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Sends the pass over. Into the attacking area from the left side. Snaps one from the slot. Denies him in front. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Here they come. 
Santos Hayes ready to go on the attack. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Quick feed to Nugent Hopkins. Couldn't connect on that pass. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Pulley Arby's getting a pair in the sin bin for boarding. When you see the player's numbers, you gotta lay off the hit. He follows right through and he'll rightfully go to the box for boarding. Another chance here on the man advantage. Time to get back to work on a power play that's already scored tonight. Don't change much. Keep working away in the same manner. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Moves it quickly over to Cassian. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. Kane's stick work has resulted in a two-minute penalty for hooking. So quickly into position, now the defensive player's got to scramble. He takes the hooking penalty. They'll play some four-on-four. Four. Lots of puck support, four-on-four. Four. Get over close to your players so you can move the puck quickly. See if you can catch the other guys out of position. The easy glove save by Dubnik. The Sharks play it along the boards. Slides the pass over to Carlson. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Quick pass across to Neal. With some open space at center. And now he moves it to McDavid. Takes a shot. Gets in front of it. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And the stick breaks. Nothing he can do about it. He's in the right place. He makes the right shot. And the stick is no good. Throw it in the garbage bin. Here's the pass. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Turns it away. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Edmonton's got a brief window on the power play with their penalty expired. San Jose's got possession while undermanned. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. The Oilers run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Oh, when the puck moves and the feet don't, this is what you get. You have lots of zone time, but no real dangerous chances on that power play. Dubnik's been perfect so far. He's kind of doing this all by himself. So busy, and he's been phenomenal tonight. The Sharks lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. And it's a quick pass to Cassian. The Oilers take it along the wall. Couldn't find the intended target. Handles the puck. Back at the point, they set it up. He got all of that hit on the play. Puck scooped up by Cassian. Coughs it up on the play. Quick pass to Kara. And now it's grabbed by Jason. Puck grabbed by LeBanc. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Looks to pass it to Kara. With possession along the wall. And that one's blocked! San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Middleton. Tosses it on to Hurdle. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Well, the endless slew of penalties that have been handed out continues here as yet another one is being dished out. He's going off for tripping, and doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? You feel like you're innocent on most every penalty, but this one always feels like, nah, did you really have to call it? And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone face-off. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double. Scores! The power play cashed in earlier. They do so again here. Really nice effort with the extra man. Wow, did he hammer that. Too much power for the goalie to control it. It hits him and still goes in. The Oilers are going to make a change in goal. I'm not so sure the guy coming into the game is going to feel so excited. Their team has just been destroyed tonight. 
San Jose's offense came to play in a big way tonight, Ray. Lots of times it's either the offense or the defense that is happy. Tonight, it's both of them. They've owned both ends of the ring. Great positioning by the defender. Dangles it over to Nelson. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. San Jose's got it in the neutral zone. Dumps it in. The Oilers have it against the wall. Edmonton's looking to break out. The turnover! Here they come! Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. From the point, looks to make something happen. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. On the attack along the boards. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Burns. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Taken by Cahoon. Oh, aggressive move as he pokes it away. Receives the pass. Takes it across the blue line. Grabs control of it at the point. Puts it on goal. Stopped by the goaltender. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Here's a short pass to Nugent Hopkins. Nice pass. Excellent stick work on the play. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Sends a pass over. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Quick feed to Nugent Hopkins. Fails to find the open man. Centering pass in front. Can't connect. Here's a blast. Oh, what a save on the one-timer. Marlowe's got the puck along the wing. And now he moves it quickly to Couture. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Neal. Picked up along the wall by Middleton. Moves it quickly over to Donato. Solid check to slow him down. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. Gets a puddle on it to make the save. San Jose's got control of the puck. Ferraro's got it along the boards. Takes a wrist shot, misses the net. Not going to be happy with this. He's got the opportunity to score. Doesn't register a shot on goal. Picked up along the boards by Turris. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Quick pass to Donato. Couldn't complete the play. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. This shot comes from a real dangerous area on the ice. But the goalie's in position, and he makes a nice stick save. San Jose's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. The Oilers win the draw. Taken along the wall by Jason. Puck picked up by Jones. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves it to chase on. Off a stick. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Here's a short pass to LeBanc. Jabs the puck away. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Nice zone entry on the left side. And the puck skips away after that move. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Nice poke check. Takes the puck at the point. The Sharks have it now. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. And now it's over to Kane. The Sharks take it across the line. Edmonton's got it from behind the net. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. The Oilers have it from their own end. San Jose's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Loose puck battle along the boards. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Feeds it on over to Pugliarvi. Takes a shot and makes a save. Nugent Hopkins is tripped up and we've got a penalty coming up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do.
Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Stop by the goaltender. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating a birthday tonight, go to our guest services booth and you'll see their name up on our big screen before the end of the game. Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down. Been a great night for hockey so far. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's drop the puck on this third period. Edmonton's power play is still intact as this period is now underway, and they take possession. What a steal in his own end. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Quick feed to Nugent Hopkins. Denies that opportunity. There's another stop. Denies him. Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. He's getting pampered! Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Dreisaitl. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. McDavid's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. Always a little careless to get a tripping penalty. You get your stick into the player's feet, and when he goes down, you're going to go to the box. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four on, four on the ice. Well, the goalies have to be sharp here because there's every bit of possibility that someone's going to break free pretty quickly on four-on-four. On four. Made the stop on that play. San Jose's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Takes it at center. Bears hauled down, penalty on the way. And here comes the judgment from the official. The Sharks are getting two minutes for tripping. His stick gets in between his feet, and when the player goes down, the penalty's gonna be called. Four skaters on three here as we get set to drop the puck, but they don't have much time to work with. Uh, not much time on this four on three, James. You gotta start with a face-off win because you're gonna have to attack quickly. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. The only positive for the power play there is they didn't have to skate up and down the ice. They didn't generate anything. They had it in the zone, but really nothing very good about it. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Edmonton's moving it up the ice. Here's a chance. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, what a save with the stick by Dubnik. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. The Sharks have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. The Oilers win the draw. And he gets a paddle on that one. He's working hard to find this puck. There's all kinds of traffic in front of him, and he gets to it before the puck gets to him. The Sharks have been the more active squad offensively tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. Hurdles won it in their own end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kane. Ahead of steam now towards the front. The Oilers will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. The Oilers have time for one last rush here on this power play. Moves it quickly over to Cahoon. Along the half wall with the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Shimmicks out of the box. That's another penalty kill for them. They have done a tremendous job this evening killing penalties. At no point have they looked overly stressed. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. He grabs the puck here at the point. With the stop. The Sharks gain control of it. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Burns is taken down. A penalty is coming up. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. The Oilers are being called for tripping. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. 
The Sharks once again send out their power play unit. Oh, this power play's been outstanding. What a terrific percentage they've run at tonight. They've been confident, they've moved the puck crisply, and they've been really successful. Four minutes, 33 seconds. Sends it in deep. San Jose's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. Great balance as he scoops it back up. Puck exits the zone. San Jose's gained possession. Sends it quickly to Donato. Couldn't complete the play. And he's ridden off the puck. And he denied that opportunity. Kara's picking up steam. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Takes the pass. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. And he regains control of the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. The Sharks have it against the wall. Here he is on the backhand. Big time save by Smith. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice. The goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Smith's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. The Sharks offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Couture's won the draw. Quick pass to Kane. Right on the doorstep. Here's a chance on the backhand. Played big in the moment there. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets... Trying to shake the defender. Cuts into the paint. What a stop by the goaltender. He's right in position as he follows the shooter and snuffs that chance away. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Nice dish from the left wing. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Moves it to Meyer. And now he angles it across to Hurdle. The Sharks move to the offensive zone. Here's a chance on the doorstep. Knocked away. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Dubnik's been on his game right since the puck hit the ice for the first time. No matter how much pressure he's been under, he's been calm and he's stopped everything so far. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, San Jose's put on a smothering offensive performance. They lead it 5 0. Moves the puck to dry cycle. The Oilers take it along the wall. Pass right in front, and that's picked off. Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by Dubnik. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Misses. Get it on the cage. Make the goalie do something with it. With the steal. The Sharks will play it from the defensive zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Move to the middle. Here he is in front. Dismiss that chance. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Ah, he'll check his stick after this. He makes the save on a really good scoring chance. The Sharks continue to lead big here in this third period. Torres wins the draw on their own end. And now he moves it to Neal. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Maintains possession. And he slides it quickly to Ennis. The Oilers are on the attack. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Denies him on the slapper. Dubnik's read the situation and he's just gonna let it breathe here, Ray. Well, every once in a while, the goalie will get a sense that the guys are starting to run around. He's been on top of it tonight, been an excellent game. Looked really confident when he went down to make this save. He gets the pad on it. That shot was delivered pretty quickly. The Sharks have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Here's a short pass to Jones. And that banks off a stick. San Jose's got the puck now. And he slides it quickly to Donato. Comes up with the stop. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. It's a 5-0 hockey game. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. Loose puck battle along the boards. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Edmonton's got it against the boards. Barry's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. 
Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Ferraro's going off to the box for two minutes. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. Hasn't been many opportunities tonight on the power play, but here is one. We'll see if they can take advantage. The Oilers win the faceoff. Cutting to the slot. Too much traffic in the lane. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, what a slick stop by Dubnik. The Sharks gain possession of the defensive zone. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Tries to clear. Grabbed along the board by Nugent Hopkins. Quick feed to Nurse and makes the save. And his stick collapses on the play. Puck scooped up by Couture. Nugent Hopkins benefits from some quick work from the trainers. They get him a new stick. Strong defensive effort. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Slides it over with pace to Turris. The Oilers take it across the blue line. Right to the middle. Snaps it out of the net. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Dubnik's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. The replay will show us that he's in good position and makes an excellent stick save to turn away a really good scoring chance. San Jose's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Blistering shot! Oh-ho! Great glove save! Where'd that come from? The Oilers fail to capitalize on the power play. Now the coach has got to be happy with their penalty killers, but they also have to be walking up and down the bench saying, that's enough. We're putting too much on a penalty kill unit that has been perfect tonight. Keeps hold of the puck. Forces the turnover. Barry's taking it from his own end. Moves the puck. Makes the save. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. The Sharks get a hold of the puck. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Centering pass! Stopped by the goaltender. Big save by the goaltender once again. Passes the puck over to Chase on. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Hurdle stick handling in his own zone. Up along the wing. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Hurdle. Oh, he gets a piece of it with the glove. Puck sent over to Chase on. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Great stick work with the steal. Kane's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Here comes the official's decision. The Oilers are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. Another chance here on the man advantage. When we talked to both coaches, they talked about how important the power play was. What I like about this team, though, they've already scored, and they look like they're hungry for more. Across the line from center. Larson's got it against the boards. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. Trying to get back on the attack now. Moves it quickly over to Ennis. San Jose's got the puck. Over the line they come. Puck grabbed by Marlowe. Tremendous stop by Smith. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. San Jose's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Back to the blue line. Quick pass to Donato. Can't connect. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Cahoon's got it on the offensive end. Great chance in front. Big save. Moves it to Carlson. Passes on over to Meyer. It's a two-on-one. Gives them nothing in front. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. Now a quick pass to Bear. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. 
It doesn't really matter that the power play didn't score. They've got such a nice lead. But I'll tell you, as a guy that made a living on the power play, I wanted to score every time I was out there. Edmonton's across the blue line. Here he is, shot right in front. San Jose's got it from behind the net. Tries to feed it over to Nieto. Takes the feed. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. One pass and out. Good play. Takes the feed. Moves right to the middle. Nowhere. Scores! His second of the game. Well, he's been on it tonight. Really good skating legs. He's finished off a couple of plays, too. When you get into the and that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. San Jose's only continued to extend the lead here in the third. They haven't missed many chances. They've scored at will, and now we're coasting home. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Edmonton's on the attack. From point blank range, stones him in front. Approaching the final minute of regulation. Puts it on net. Oh, what a blocker stop by Smith. Slides the puck over. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Look out, a two-on-one. Can't connect. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. There's the whistle penalty coming up. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess. But you already know at this point you're going to sit down. The Oilers win it in the defensive zone. Takes it to the front. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Slides the puck to Jones. San Jose's looking to break out of their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Great hand-eye coordination as he gets the puck back. Flips it up the net. Denied by the goaltender. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Pokes it away in his own end. Just can't complete that pass. Oh, he's got the right play in mind. He just doesn't execute the final pass. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Ray, you look why they're up in this series right now. Just look in the crease. You don't win many playoffs if your goaltender isn't the better goaltender. He's been excellent. He throws a shutout on the board here tonight. Well, that closes the book on this playoff barn burner for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We will see you as the playoffs roll on towards the quest for the cup.